Twin Cities of Adam. I'm Jack Times, like that's Andrew Lee. Good morning. Happy Friday, Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. Happy Friday. Thanks, Obama. You. Thanks, Obama. That's Lump. Good morning. Good morning, Lump. Good morning. On the show today at 645, Congressman Tom Emmer. Just got back from Israel. We'll talk about that. At 7 o'clock, State Representative Nick, D- Nick Zerwas will be third willing for the remainder no, of the show. No, God, please, no, no. <laughs> That's very nice. In that time, he'll give very long answers. And then we'll make fun of how he sounds. God, I always say stupid stuff. <laughs> Pretty much like normal. At 8, Andrew's mandatory list. At 8.15, Chef Dan Parker in to talk uh, taps and tables. Andrew, what is that? It's a, uh, it's a cool charitable uh, effort that he's putting, putting together. He's working with a couple of breweries, uh, Lift Bridge out of Stillwater and Odell out of Colorado. Uh, they've collaborated on, mm. on a new beer. Mm. Did, did, did they just mix two yeah, beers Yeah, they just up? poured two beers into a glass, yeah. and they're like, here, try they this. Collaborated, drink it. Kind of like what I used to do with soda. Yeah. Just mix yeah. it all together. Uh, no, they've uh, they've collaborated on a, on a new new beer, and they're working with a handful of local restaurants uh, who are putting together sort of these special dishes, and uh, and proceeds are going to uh, to local food shelves. It's a really cool program, uh, and he's going to come in and tell us more about it. Cool, and he's going to bring some food, I think. Excellent, and maybe some beer. Huh? None mm. for me, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Lump will have to drink mine going to get weird in that last segment. Parody song contest at the end of the show, and when we know what that prize is, somebody will just say it out loud. <laughs> hey, I don't know what it is yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, last night... Let's just be real. <laughs> we're, we're usually prepared for the show by about 6.20. No, we're not. It takes, about, yeah. so it, take, you know, it takes about 20 minutes or so for us to actually be ready to do the show. Last night, I went to the a, uh, a benefit for Ann New. She's a uh, political operative. She got, I hate that term. Why? I just use the term I hate. She helped get Chip Kravak elected when he beat Jim Oberstar. The, uh, the name of the fundraiser was We Are One Project, and they're going to do this, try to do this year after year for other people. There were a ton of people, anybody who has ever worked in politics, a uh, lot of activists, uh, Mike McFadden, there last night out of Garris. It was a good time. And one of the things we gave away they they auctioned off was the up and atom experience mm-hmm. and i got to the event started at six went till 10 i got there at eight and i've been weird in social situations for the last 38 years last night was no different and now that i'm regionally famous in the uh the 65 plus am radio listening community i've gotten even weirder so I, when I go to things, I don't want to just strike up conversations with people and have them think that I'm big dealing them by interrupting whatever they were doing. Right. And I also don't want to not talk to people because I don't want people to think that I'm big dealing them by being aloof. It's all on me. I'm a weirdo. So I got there and I, I uh, kind of stood off to the side and I saw Mike McFadden, former U.S. Senate candidate, and we just chatted a little bit about some stuff, probably five, five, ten minutes. And I was standing right in front of the silent auction table the very long table ran the length of the room mm-hmm. and i decided i should go find out fi- where the up and adam experience is see how the bidding was going see how they presented it right and i turned around to look for it and it was right behind me and how it was presented was just a picture of me so for five to Awkward. ten minutes i was the guy standing right in front of the thing <laughs> we were we were we had donated to the silent auction like hey and it was your face. That's me right there. <laughs> You're I'm the you, guy right there. You, you are the up and atom experience. I'm yeah. famous. You donated your face. I felt pretty dumb. Uh, Pete Hagseth emceed the event and did refer to it as the Jack Tomzak experience. I'm oh, like, whoa, great. Whoa, that is way cheaper. <laughs> that is under a dollar. I figured this would this would excite you. Like anybody this would, can have this would that. please you. This, come on by. Come on by. So I guess we know whose lap they're sitting on. Yeah, it's, it's mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, cool event, a lot of money raised. Um, do you guys like live music? Yes, yeah. very much. You guys like really loud live music? Well, typically live music tends to be a bit loud. Depends so. on you, how loud it is. You were, you, you've been in bands, Andrew. Why is it so damn loud? It's hard to find that sweet spot where you're loud enough that the whole room can hear you, but not too loud for portions of the room it's yeah. really it's difficult a yeah. lot of it depends on the room mm-hmm. the acoustics of the room yeah. depends on what equipment you have available you mm-hmm. know if you've only got big amps then you've got big amps and yeah. they're going to be loud uh it's tough it's tough to find that 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 real sweet spot and if you're doing 
audio engineering. Here's what I've observed. You tell me if this is accurate or not, because you've got experience in the field. The younger the band, the more everybody in the band thinks that they yes. should be the loudest. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it becomes a war of volume. You know, the bass player's like, D nobody can hear me. And this... So the bass player turns up, which means the guitar players have to turn up, which means the drummer has to drum harder. And this wasn't the case last night, but I, d I did notice that back in college when a handful of, of friends were in bands, it was like everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, drummer, stop it. <laughs> Yeah, a lot hey, of bassist. It, usually, the best. usually the drummer is the is the main culprit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, inexperienced drummers, younger drummers don't all crazy necessarily anyway. how to know how to to uh, to gauge their volume, mm -hmm. and they just want to uh, play loud. Ah! Oh. And then everybody else has to be heard over the drummer. Mm -hmm. So you got to you got to turn up. So yeah, it's usually the drummer's fault. And not the not the case last night. Very good band, the most interesting band in the world. Uh, uh, with a special guest, the Tim Sigler band. I don't know who those guys are, but the music was good. Um, but just, just I, I've gotten old. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to the, I just want to go to a bar to have a conversation mm -hmm. here. Let me put my teeth in. That's me. Yeah. I, that, that's happened. That happened. Why like can't five we have a ago. nice, quiet jazz band? I can't. I can't hear myself think in very loud bars. <laughs> yeah. What a good time. It was a, uh, a uh, good event, and I don't leave the house for anybody or anything, and I went out last night. I'm glad I did. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, we are super popular with, like, 11 people. Yeah. Yeah. Like 14, I think, yeah. the last count. Yeah. We're up to about 14 or 15 listeners. Yeah, people are like, hey. It's growing. You're the And that's not even including Lump's family. Like, we stopped counting them. Well, mm -hmm. but that's because my family is, that's pretty much the size of my family is. Tuesdays and Thursdays, they, li they listen to another station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you guys do, do yesterday? Did you enjoy that? Heat? It was pretty hot. Man, uh, was pretty on days hot. like t yesterday and today, it's going to be 94 today. Yeah. But Democrats don't want you to have air conditioning. We can talk about, I oh, love the environment and the planet and Mother <laughs> Earth. They don't want you to have air conditioning. <laughs> they want you to be miserable. Think of that today while you're miserable already. I don't have air conditioning. So it's the, and it's the Democrats' fault. <laughs> Come on. I'm going swimming today. Come on by. I'll just hang out at Jack's Yeah, house. man. Yesterday, I was actually, it occurred to me, it's, boy, it'd be nice to have a pool. You can come by. We're going swimming. It'd be nice. I don't have a pool myself. I have a hose. I've been out on the deck every day this week. Uh, you know, it's been lovely weather for mm -hmm. most of the part. And uh, I didn't I didn't make it out there very long yesterday. Got yeah. too hot. Went yeah. back inside. I'm a wimp. You guys are so wimpy. I'm a wimp. It wasn't even that bad. It was pretty hot. Lump. It was hot, but, I mean, it wasn't All right. that bad. I, well, every, Lump, come on in here. Everybody uh, strip down, and we're going to compare body fat percentages. We've got extra person to us and hair. <laughs> it's harder to be a, dude, a fat dude with hair. <laughs> it's like we're always wearing a light jacket. You're not that hairy. You don't. You're both get hairy, back, get in but here. not that <sighs> hairy. I'm 93 pounds. Mm -hmm. How are you guys so uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating right now. Yeah, you you you, do, you keep the the studio like a refrigerator. So yeah. I keep I actually keep mine colder than in there usually. Andrew, I do that on purpose. I'm trying to uh, freeze me out. Give you the Aniston look. When we come back, what's coming back? What's coming up in the news bag? Uh, there was a sexting in St. Paul. I'll give you the details Ooh. on that. Plus a whole lot more. It's a robust news bag today. 651-989-5855.